Hello everybody, welcome back to The Last Promise. I'm Mithril Zenith, and it's time for Chapter 8, Turbulence. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to experience some turbulence. In case of emergency, please grab the available oxygen mask provided. Ooh, green units. Well, we're here, Sean. We sure have come a long way. So, I know we're in Valencian territory, but there's encampment where many ex-Valencian soldiers are held captive. We're outnumbered, but that's not a problem, right? I'm thinking if we can take over and seize the castle, we'll gain some more support for our cause. Though whether they'll actually join us or not is, isn't quite certain. It would be a good idea to deploy soldiers in some other areas. If our forces are concentrated into one group like this, it'll allow them to surround us and cut off any escape routes. Yeah, you're right. Though honestly, I wish the situation here hadn't come and come to this in the first place. I wanted to come here and become a real knight one day. So long as Magnus controls these territories, that won't happen. Yeah, what happened to all the Counts of Valencia? It's hard to believe that they'd lose so easily. Count Praise died many years ago by poisoning and left no heir. I was the knight commander of Regalia at the time and took leadership, temporarily, until some course of permanent action could be decided. That time never came, and I left Regalia as well. Of course, I was born in Yulia, not Regalia, but I detested it. Its ruler, Count Pelinor, is greedy and selfish. I love my homeland, but I detest its government. After all, Count Pelinor and Count Paris of Divisio both sided with Magnus when they heard that the Empire had begun a war with all others. Count Perlane of Alexia was killed in battle, as was his son, the only heir. This is my history lesson. <laughs> Count Perry of Klepto does not have a true army, and so, to survive, he sided with Magnus as well. I'm telling you this because you asked, John. I was about to ask why are you telling me all of this. <laughs> but the truth is, Valencia's rulers failed to protect their people or land. Duke Paul of Aegis, I don't know what happened to him, but I presume that he died when Magnus conquered the city. I I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. Yes, the truth is sad, but to move on and make change for the better, knowing the truth helps. This is true. Valencia is lost. The leaders that are left the traitors to the people, but when this happens, it's up to people like us to overthrow them. Isn't that what it means to rebel, Sean? Yes, you're right. <laughs> well said, Siegfried. This is why I follow you. Thank you, Corbin. The time for words is over, and the time for action is here. Thank you. Lady Mina, a number of insurgents have broken through the gates. How should we engage them? So what? Send some of the guards. The guards have already engaged the foe, my lady. Should we deploy our main force? Go ahead. I want everyone in formation immediately. Repel the invaders. Yes, Lady Mina. <laughs> Pitiful soldiers can't do any thinking for themselves. Must I truly shout such basic commands for them to take action? Ah, see, quite a few locked rooms and chests up here. Keep in mind you'll need some way to access them. I'll leave the details up to you. Ding. So, this chapter is full of enemies. Welcome to... I guess this is technically the second castle map. These green units, we have Eduardo, Ace, Anakin, Troubadour A, and Troubadour B. Many of these... Oh, where are they? So there's Thunder, Javelin, Iron Lance... Yeah, pretty much as soon as we start going, they'll just start killing all the prisoners. We also have this thief behind us, making our making his way forward. Because he starts so far behind us, it'll take him a long time to reach anything of value. So we can pretty much ignore him. But these cavaliers drop speed wings and an iron weapon. Ahead of us we have Horse Slayer, the guard drops a door key, that one has a Vulnerary and an Elixir. All in all, there's a lot of enemies for Altharius to be careful of because lances can do a lot of damage to him, but there's a lot for him to do, stealing elixirs, opening doors, getting to these chests. Now we also have plenty of keys and we might as well use them up too. And we don't have very many deployment slots in this chapter, unfortunately. We'll need to talk to Anakin, Ace, and Eduardo with Siegfried to recruit them. 
How um, much as I want to bring Sia? I mean, this chapter is really the best place for Noah to shine. Kevin can do a lot here for us. Always have a healer. Yeah, Corbin's doing much better than Sean. Um, I guess there's a little bit for Storm to do, but not really too much. So, yeah, all fairies and there's a lot of work for Sia to do, though. All these soldiers she can really take down quite easily. Cut down a Nana, then? Or do I just not bring Noah? Oh, Noah would make this chapter so much easier, though. I know, because I played it without him last time. <laughs> uh, Corbin's low defense is actually a bit of a liability. So yeah, this is the this is the troop we're going with. We can't just sell things because we still don't have any armor cutter is D rank. All fairies can use an armor cutter. I'm not sure what purpose that has, but it can. Is Leopard B? No, it's A. So, you can't use it, but you can. Because nothing says... Jagen like having another silver weapon for him. At this point, I'm just gonna promote Inanna. She's level 12. She might be level like 13 or 14 by the end of Siegfried mode. But she'll be a lot more useful after promotion. Look at those gains. 5 hit points. 3 strength. 2 defense. A little bit extra con. And that 8 movement actually really helps quite a bit. So she can actually have door key, chest key. Now if she goes around with the keys, Noah has a door key as well. Is there any other things I want to move around? So I'll give you that, and then I can just keep dropping. Who needs the energy ring? As I said, Sean needs it. Might as well use it now, so that way... Even though I'm not using Sean right now, I can at least have him use the energy ring, so... Free up some inventory space. Just all that weight will slow all fairies down. Do I just have a steel sword? Oh, that'll actually still slow him down by three. Right now he needs his speed to survive, so... I'm gonna make sure that stays equipped. I've had problems where my iron sword uh, randomly gets unequipped, and that's not good to happen. Now, something you can do with the light room. Wait, what am I doing? I... Arthur has an extra inventory slot. Something fun you can do with the light room. Is... Wait, you also have the unlock staff, so... Tamiko can go around open doors for experience. Something you can do with the light rune is place it here just to stop everyone from approaching from behind. Like any one of these places. 
which is not a bad idea. It certainly buys a little time without getting surrounded. Uh, who should be in back, though? That's the problem. Because if Kevin's in back, he's never going to catch up. And Nana in back. Well, she has my keys, but... I also need to grab items from them, too. Hmm... Yeah, we, we can leave that to Noah. He can... You can just drop the door key in the vulner area, I guess. I don't know. No, he can trade that door key over to... to you. There we go. I'm happy with this. Somewhat. Well, let's get started with turbulence, everybody. So it seems the more soldiers are coming. Father, how can you know this already? The guardsmen have just retreated deeper inside. They couldn't have sent for reinforcements so quickly, could they? Hmm. What? It's nothing. Let's continue our attack before they get the chance to retaliate. And I have to get to the prisoners before Magnus decides to kill them. Well, at least this chapter warns you pretty directly that there's going to be reinforcements. See, your move is seven, so. Yeah, I can stand back there. See the power of a promoted Falcon Knight in the early game. Make it even easier. She will no longer gain experience, effectively. But hey, that doesn't necessarily matter. have a door key. You just have javelins. Oh shoot, I should have grabbed the javelins. I'm an idiot. I should have grabbed the javelins off of Corbin and Sean. Because they're not going to be using them. Yeah. Yeah, I, I probably could have done this a bit better already. Aha! Ha ha! I don't know why I say that. I always just think that whenever he's attacking, he's just like, aha! I don't know why. Whatever. Random and irrelevant. Actually, darn it, if I was one closer, I could have used unlock next turn. Yeah, oh well. Tigri takes out the guard and takes the door key, which I will not be needing. Because I have plenty of picks and keys elsewhere. Miss. Ooh, 4% crit. I'll take that. And I'll take those speed wings off your hands. For some reason, I thought that he couldn't attack there. I don't know why I thought that. Yes, and and yes, these guards are jerks. I don't believe you get anything for saving the troubadours. Maybe you do. Ooh, nightly vow. That's a nice song. I guess I guess you aren't awake. This guy does nothing but sleep. It looks like he needs it. Yeah, his eye shadow is pretty thick. Ah, you're awake. You know what's happening over there? I'm not sure, but it sounds like a battle. I wonder who would attack this place. You never know. What do you mean, you never know? Man, you're a real drag sometimes, Anakin. Hey, pipe down. Don't shut up. No, no stay for you. We'll execute you on the spot. I've already thrown a javelin at you. That must be it. There must be a battle happening. Some way or another, we need to get out of here. Hold on, I can hear the soldiers from here. The person leading the charge is a brown-haired knight. That's all I could get. A lot of the people who might come to liberate us. Met the mercenary Kellick once, and he has jet black hair. 
Maybe it's the rebellion led by the former knight? He's been fighting in Athea. Maybe the rumors are true. He could be bringing his rebels here to Valencia after all. Oh, perhaps that swordsman's among them. I doubt it. That one doesn't seem like the kind to conform to an army. Well, anyway, hopefully they'll come to free us. If the knight's in charge of this, then we're probably his top priority. Good to hear. I suppose we should just stay put, then. In the meantime, I'll get back to my nap. Anakin? I guess I'll wake him up when we're free. Oh, hello, Kellick. I'm a red unit. Lady Mina, thank you for all your help thus far. You've really taken a risk helping us out, but we appreciate it. We've gotten all the documents about the race on runes that we needed. The blacksmith I'm going to take it to is the greatest I know. If anyone can implement those swords into a rune, it'll be him. Yes, yes. Just remember your part of the deal, of course. If there's anyone who can find Rana, it's us. We'll give him your message. I'd like to continue speaking with you, however. I think somebody may be watching. I'm going to leave after this battle is done with... What about you? Are you really going to stay? Yes, I don't have a choice. I really have wanted to see him one last time, but at least I trust that you'll give him my letter. Yeah, I've never failed a client. I won't start now. Sadly, the leader of this force, I have no choice but to stay. Fate is cruel, isn't it? Cruel and unavoidable. That's how you truly feel, and I respect your wishes. Goodbye, Kellogg, and thank you. Farewell to you as well, Mina. See you. Race on runes, what could that mean? Hmm. I have a feeling when Kellogg comes back, he's going to have a special little sword. As the special little snowflake he is. Oh, man. See, I can't one-round any of these guys. Uh, Noah can't one-round either. And then I can at least drag him back a little bit. Kevin can one round <laughs> these soldiers, though. That's nice. Go, Kevin. I'm strong and I'm tough. Get out of here with your fire spell. Oh, should have healed Anana before I moved. Yeah, whatever. Still have plenty of time to feed experience to Tamako. And besides, she can actually heal Siegfried and be somewhat helpful. Or I can attack with Sia and then have her heal Sia. Or Sia can just dodge anyway. Sure. It's level 6. And she finally gains magic. The thing that you're kind of known for, having a high magic growth. How much damage would I take? Let's see, that's 15 plus death. Yeah, I'm not so keen on death. Just right around this way. So I can heal up this turn. Yeah, I don't know if you get anything for saving the Val uh, Val not Valkyries, Troubadours, but they're hard enough to save as it is. I don't really see a reason to. Oh, you switched the Iron Lance. Weapon triangle, eh? Well, I have an axe with your name on it. Two percent crit! Well, looks like I'm not saving that, Troubadour. <laughs> I just have to take these guys out before they start... Well, I guess they won't start taking out... Eduardo because well he's positioned next to the door and the guard next to the door doesn't have a ranged weapon so he should be fine 
and iron sword. Uh, I don't really care, but an iron sword could be useful. I just want to recruit these guys so I can have more inventory space. <laughs> it's sad that inventory space is the thing I want most. Ooh, that's like 50 experience. That is nice! Well, let's thunder you. Thunder you. Yeah, she is respectable as a mage. Are you awake? Oh, oh. I'm in charge of this army? Yes, and who might you be? I'm Anakin, just your typical vagrant. A beggar? Why has someone like you been put in a prison? I really don't know. One day I cruised into town and started to tell tales of the numerous rebellions scattered throughout the land. I was trying to give the oppressed people hope. Then Magnus came all of a sudden and just locked me up. Oh, well, that's understandable for Magnus. They probably saw you as a threat to control to their own control of Valencia. So you so your skills with words are used for more than just begging, huh? Eh, not really. I'm tired. Tired guy is no threat to an empire like Magnus. Well, anyway, can you fight? If not, it might be better for you to just stay here until the battle's done. Who said I can't fight? I can use light magic, though I never got far into my studies. I just barely remember how to use a lightning tome, I think. Well, it's your lucky day. I only have one, though. Now I have to fight. How is that lucky? Well, I suppose I can see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. And yes, you give him a free lightning tome. And a vulnerary out of nowhere, because Siegfried has magical pockets. And, oh wait, Siegfried has to be the guy to to recruit, uh, what's his name? Uh, keep wanting to say guy, and I know that's not right. Ace. Hey. So Siegfried, thank you for freeing us. You can flee this place now. You're also free to join us if you desire. I've had a lot of time to think in this prison. I decided I'll fight alongside you. It's the least I can do to repay you. Alright, although you don't have any equipment. I was completely disarmed when I was taken prisoner, so no, it's alright. I'm prepared for this. I knew some of you would want to fight but be unarmed, so I brought a few spare weapons with me. Are you feeling healthy enough to get into the fray? Oh, I'm fine, and this'll do. It's pretty considerate of you. You have my thanks. Why didn't you let me know that you had a javelin, Siegfried? Now, this is something that I understand from a gameplay perspective. You want to be able to give them weapons. But just pulling free weapons out of nowhere is kind of strange. Anyway, here's Ace. He's a soldier. Um, he has decent bases, especially as a level 1 unit. He'll get defense pretty quickly. Here's Anakin. He's... He's a light mage that's also a dancer, as you heard from the You Can Do It. You're going to hear You Can Do It quite a bit. He has good speed, meh, other stats, and he's also a light mage so he can fight if needs be, but generally you're going to be using him for dancing because... For dancing, ha ha ha, uh, you know what I mean when I say dancing. Yeah, generally he's a lot more useful as a as a move again. He's a lot more useful to help other allies move again than he is for actually fighting on his own. And that's a problem. I just moved you there thinking I'd be able to take this guy out, but it looks like maybe not. Eh, all Therese can take a hit. This might be a little dangerous for Inanna, though. She takes 8 from that guy and 12 from... Ooh. Mm, but she can't kill that guy, and she'll only be in range of... 8 and then 12, and then 8 more. Yeah, I'm gonna... Not attack today. Enemy phase. Figured he'd be more after all fairies anyway, but whatever. Better safe than sorry, I suppose. 
I just hope that mage is too preoccupied with killing defenseless prisoners that he doesn't see that Altheris is within kill range. Oh, we can't even reach Altheris because Kevin! Kevin has the Magnian Magnet. Da -da 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 -da. And yeah, they're far too preoccupied with killing defenseless prisoners to see that they have a chance at actually doing some damage. Well, we got that blue paint bucket just in time. Ace, you can start contributing now. He has really good bases for a level 1 unit, and that will be helpful in the future. Hmm. Where should we go? Who goes where and who does what? Keep healing with Tamako. I forget if we actually get a guiding ring fairly soon. I think we might. It's hard to say for sure. Hmm. All theories I want to do more with, but right now you're kind of not in the best position of your life, shall we say? Ooh, Horse Slayer! Bang! That hurts hard. <laughs> that hits hard. That hurts a lot. Got a Steel Sword. I am glad that I promoted Inanna here. I think this is the same point when I promoted her in that casual run. She's very useful for this chapter, too. Once she's been promoted. I guess I don't need so many door keys. I have all fairies. Who... Yeah, much as I want him to do stuff right now, I need him to... I need him to be alive in order for him to do anything. You can do it. Yeah, at least he has a nice, relaxing musical theme. Stay safe behind. Oh, she can go in front too. That's fine. Okay, one more turn until this prisoner dies. Not that they matter at all. I mean, maybe they do, I forget, but I don't think they do. Ooh, Killer Lance. Yeah, it's really good for Sia to take this guy out before he gets a chance to attack anyone else in melee. Motivate. You can do it. If I said that never got old, I would be lying. I think by the end of this chapter, it will have already gotten old. Yoink. And... I was just giving you praise and saying you were a decent thief. Why do you have to incessantly try to prove me wrong? Unless we have Noah here. At least I know a guy, but... Finalize that, then we can 
Kevin will choke this point. Ow, Kevin actually takes a lot more damage. Thanks, Steel Lance. These guys are evenly matched. Kevin has lower strength, but higher defense, so... Yeah, they're roughly the same. Who haven't I moved yet? You. Miss. Aha! Not so evenly matched now, are we? Not when I have strength and skill on my side. Fire magic. Goodbye, prisoners. I didn't really care about you. Siegfried takes out that annoying guy. Oh yeah, what's the speed of this thief? Eight. Oh, an eight speed thief. How, how funny. Well, we can chuck a vulnerary so we can steal his lockpick, just for the heck of it. Not that I'm going to need that many lockpick uses, but I always think it's funny just to steal lockpicks. <laughs> Makes me feel nice. Makes me happy. Chest key. Oh, I'll drop the two-use one for the five-use one. Unlock this door. Da, 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 da. So much experience! Tamco actually has some reasonable defenses now. You, you can do it. it. You know what it's time for. Time for Sir Siegfried to talk with Eduardo, captured Regalian Knight. I long awaited the day I could fight alongside you to help free my homeland. I was going to have someone so enthusiastic. All right then, for Regalia! Wait, huh? You're completely unarmed. The enemy would just catch you and lock you back up, or even worse, kill you. None can withstand the might of a Valencian Knight. Armed or unarmed, my charge will, def will bring defeat to the enemy. You idiot. Take this sword and spear, and you'd better use them. Y yes, sir. For Valencia! <sighs> Sigh. Iron Sword. Iron Lance. No Vulnerary. I guess Eduardo's just not special enough to get a free Vulnerary. So here's Eduardo. Uh, his bases, aside from strength, are pretty bad. He starts with E Swords, D Lances. When he comes back in Anakin's Tale, we will get he will get a personal Lance, which is like a Brave Lance, but with crap accuracy. Um, overall, his hit points growth is highest in the game, <laughs> tied with Arthur, of all people, at 125, so he can get a lot of hit points. Um, problem being... So in the long run, he actually can become one of your better knights, but he will quickly fall behind in skill and speed. Those are not his best attributes, shall we say. Sia continues to dominate all of these knights, and even gets a weapon level rank. Sweet. C rank. Mm, time to heal Kevin, who's going to be on the front lines. I mm, really wish I could trade more than one time. Why would you give a slim lance to... Oh wow, Kevin has no <laughs> usable weapons right now. That's not so good. His iron lance was about to break. I'm tempted to actually give that speed wings over to Kevin because... I mean, all his other stats are fine, and his speed's not that terrible. Okay, 6 speed is pretty bad. But it's not unsalvageable. 
Although I can probably find a better recipient of those speed wings, Kevin's not the worst, all things considered. Um, did I just kill Kevin? Did I just get Kevin killed? I hope not. I, I really hope not. Like, I knew the mages were dangerous, but I didn't think that they'd be doing over 20 points of damage total to him. Yeah, we're not doing anything that stupid again. Hmm, I really wish I could heal twice right now. Here we go. Heal you with Tamako. Her magic's already so good that she heals so much. Is there anyone you can one round? Uh, none of the mages. Fire Mage slower than the Thunder Mage. Hmm. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Let's motivate. You can do it. Apparently all you need to do is say you can do it, and your allies can work twice as hard. Yeah, that's that that's the way that's the way it works, right? Yeah, that's shaky. I can kill him with Noah though. So why am I bothering? I don't even know. Yeah, let's do this. Just to make sure we can kill this mage, because he's, again, really threatening <laughs> for a mage. Doesn't give Noah much experience, but that doesn't really matter too much. There's no one here that can attack. No, he should be safe here. And it's time for all fairies to get over to those chests. Save this door as another excuse to gain 50 free experience for Tamako. Hmm. <laughs> Da -da -da -da. Unlock. Hey, there were once prisoners here. Who cares if we're a little late to save them? Yeah, that's seriously 50 experience. That's too much to pass up. Eduardo can't really do anything. These guys. Ooh, nice crit, Siegfried. Actually, that puts him in kill range for Eduardo. Sweet. Now I have to be careful with what items I give to these guys, because I'm pretty sure they leave after this chapter. It's either after this one or after the next one. They they just go off on their own, and they take all their items with them. And you also, I don't think, you see those items again when they return in the next story. You can do it. Q. 
keep healing, keep gaining experience. Good girl, Tamako. Yeah, Eduardo's a bit of a pain to try and train up, but he's not bad. Just annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna probably rearrange my items just before I seize the throne. Aha! Eh, I probably shouldn't necessarily be doing this. I probably should have saved that soldier for more EXP for someone else. But I don't really care. Because this shaman's a bit threatening. But I really just wanted to take him out. Here we see Sia in her natural habitat, obliterating armor knights. And missing, apparently. I, I didn't realize that missing was an important part. My Sia is not getting more magic. Not that she greatly needs it, but one or two more points would have really been nice. Always do more healing. Always more healing. You can do it. Four. You can do zero twice. That's really impressive. Yeah, Ace and Eduardo and Anakin are... They're really not good at this point compared to the rest of Siegfried's army. But that doesn't necessarily matter because they're leaving anyway. So we might as well just do what we can. Ding. Yeah, I shouldn't actually leave them with stuff I want to keep. Like a Thunder Tome. And <clears throat> you can keep the vulneraries, I don't really care about them. If I miss a 98% chance and Noah dies because of it, I'm gonna be really unhappy. Ding. Okay, now, where are the reinforcements? None yet? Okay. Cool. Emblem Blades! Say hello to Iron Sword 2.0. Exact same stats, except technically six might and unbreakable. Let's not leave that with you. How about that? It's also E rank, so Nana can use it, and that's nice. Should I give it to anyone else? Uh, I can worry about that later. Let's just finish off the boss and get out of here. I mean, Altharius actually has... ...enough. You can do it. Speed, but he can steal the elixir from the boss. 
and he won't die. Not even gonna talk about that 1% crit. All fairies will not die. Noah, on the other hand, should probably wait uh, two steps back. Oh, that's a cool coloration. Be sucked into oblivion by my magic. I actually really like black and gold. It's a really nice color scheme. It works really well on the shaman outfit as well. Like, that is the best shaman outfit, is that black and gold trim. Like, I don't know, I don't know about you, but I can't stand the, uh, what is his name, Ewan's shaman sprite. Just, not that it's bad or anything, but, I mean, It just... Shamans should not be... Red... Like... Te like, light blue and red does not make a shaman in my mind. That's like... If all fairies gets two hits, I can actually kill him with her with Kevin. That'll be nice. It's probably the best experience gain in my army at this point. Outside of Sia, who can't kill, and the rest of them who can't kill. Is there any else? Any other doors? No? Okay. It's almost getting to the point where I have- where I think I have enough experience and don't need to spam heal too much, where I might need to save it for when I actually need to heal. Hmm. That's an interesting thought. So let's just motivate. Any other items that I want? I don't think so, but there might be. Probably shouldn't give them all my keys. I think there's one more castle map. There might not be, I forget. I don't have any item space though, that's the question. It doesn't look like anyone does. Oh well. Let's seize the throne! Alright everyone, we've secured the area. Must you shout so loud? I was in the middle of a nice nap. That's impressive, napping on the battlefield? How do you fight like that? I'm not really a fighter, I'm more of a motivator. Motivator? Uh, yeah. I'm not the greatest fighter myself, so I motivate others to fight harder to pick up the slack. It seems to me that it would be more worthwhile to hone your own skills than to rely on the skills of others. At the very least, you seem to have some fighting potential. Well, we've all got our ways of doing things. You've got your sword, and I've got my voice. I suppose, but you have to be awake to speak. Our enemy is Magnus, a relentless and fearless foe. They won't hesitate to kill anyone, even a defenseless sleeping soldier. Perhaps fighting when you can and motivating when you can't would be the best way to strengthen yourself. Perhaps. We'll keep that in mind, I suppose. Father, we've released all the prisoners on the ground level. The documents in the warden's office indicate many more prisoners, however, it doesn't say where they are. Well, while I was in prison, I heard rumors of a, an underground detainment center. I think they held some of the captive Yulian knights down there. Most of them sided with Pelinor, but a few of them didn't. I saw a path leading to a cellar. The enemy commander had this key with her, so I'm assuming that they're in the cellar. Come, father. Ah, the light burns. Are you alright? Yeah, thanks a lot. I was terrified when I heard the sound of battle. Thought maybe someone had come, but I was afraid the soldiers here were too much for you. Thanks for the optimism. We're going to stay around for a day and leave tomorrow. You and anyone else who wants to join, you have one day. Our goal is to free Valencia from the clutches of Magnus, so if you're a true knight of Valencia, be true to your oaths and join us. So it's you. 
Nice battle out there. So we meet again. What are you doing here? Just minding my own business. So you're still considering joining our forces? You hate Magnians, don't you? No. I'm not going to throw my life away so quickly. I have to take care of some things. Later, Sieg. Oh. And don't get too far ahead of yourself. Charging straight into places isn't going to work every time. What's his problem? I'm not sure. He sure is full of himself. Father, your eye is twitching. Something wrong? It's nothing, Sean. I'm just ticked off at that jerk is all. Anyway, that's... That's been Chapter 8, Turbulence. Not a bad castle map. I will say that I wish there was more reason to bother rescuing the other prisoners, because as they are, they're just a blade of armor. But I mean, hey, keeping those mages off of me for five turns helps pretty well. Really limited recruitment slots, which cause you to think... Man, I'm yawning so much. <laughs> Cause you to think hard about what units you bring in. Um. Yeah, I. I like that you get to recruit the units and that they instantly become useful. They don't have to drag weapons to them, especially when you don't have a convoy. But it does feel kind of weird that Siegfried just has a dimensional portal that he pulls all these random weapons out, including a javelin, which would have been pretty nice to have an extra javelin, but whatever. Yeah, aside from that, not too bad. A decently challenging chapter, but not, like, incredibly so, so, yeah. It also helps that I had Siegfried, Kevin, uh, Noah, and Inanna to do all the heavy lifting, so we didn't get much experience from that chapter, but, I mean, see, I got experience. But yeah, not too bad. Writing wasn't too terrible. And I think that's the first time we actually get to get to hear the Cold Steel theme for Kellic. <laughs> oh yes, Kellic, the edgelord. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more Fire Emblem content. I've been Mithril Zenith, and I'll see you guys next time.